it in this screen of Bolivia, if you walk around, you will still see remnants of all walls. Well, except the northern wall that is covered with houses, but it's still there. So I have another simple question to ask. If we can see all four walls, if all four walls that were built by Herod are still here, what is so special about the Western Wall? One of the most important answers to that question is by the fact that it is the closest to a certain point. I'm going to mention soon. When Jews around the world pray, the direction of their prayer is towards Israel. If you're standing in the east, it will be westwards. From the west, it will be eastwards, direction towards Israel. In Israel, the prayers will be directed towards Jerusalem. In Jerusalem, prayers are directed towards the Temple Mount. On the Temple Mount, prayers are directed towards the Holy of Holies. So, in other, word, in other words, let me suggest that the Holy of Holies is the heart and soul of Jerusalem, of this whole area. They had this foundation stone, the most important thing of the temple itself. And the Western Wall, as we can see quite clearly, is the closest to that spot. If we fly like those, we'll be able to see what I just now said. I'll stop it for a moment. This is the Western Wall, and we can see very easily that it is the closest to this spot, to Kodesh HaKodeshim, to the Holy of Holies. So now, we also understand why, in our days, we're talking mostly about the Western Wall, and less so, although you can talk and you can see the other walls themselves. From one spot to the other, if you walk all the way through, if you measure this whole Western Wall, you'll find out it is exactly 488 meters, 1,600 feet. But believe me that if you go outside, you'll be able to see that, you'll be able to see that the open surface, the plaza itself, is only 57 feet. 57 meters, 187 feet. Only a small portion of the Western Wall we can see outside. What happened to the rest of it? We have to carry on in history. In the year 70 CE, the Romans come to Jerusalem, conquer Jerusalem, and destroy the Second Temple. As you can see right now, this whole area of Temple Mountain was destroyed. And for most of the time, it was cleared with nothing on it. Probably nothing was built on it. Well, the biggest change happened about 1,300 years ago when to Jerusalem the Muslims arrived. And as I mentioned, a person called Abed el Malik decides to build this following building. We call the Dome of... What's the name of this building? The Rock. The Rock. Why is this place called the Dome of the Rock? Simply because under this stone, we can find a rock. What kind of rock? A foundation stone. It is also very important for the Muslims. About 700 years ago, for different reasons, the Muslims that live here in Jerusalem decide to cover this whole valley, this western valley, with houses. And how do they do that? With arches upon arches, they hire the surface and build their houses, as we can see right now. The houses themselves are covering the western wall. The tunnels in the tour, and that's very important to understand, are the arches that were built to support the houses about 700 years ago. Let's carry on with the picture. And this is the familiar picture of Jerusalem. Let's zoom in to see 
The open plaza of today, as I said, 57 meters, 81 meters in the southern side, and 350 meters, 1187 feet, are covered with houses. We are, right now, excuse me, here. Soon we'll continue walking eastwards until we get to the western wall. When we get to the western wall, we'll carry on continuing walking northwards nearly until the end of it. Let's peel from on the houses and see exactly where we are. But the wall is still there. Everything is still there. The wall itself is still there. We'll see the wall. We won't see everything. We won't see the original height of the wall that was during Herod's time, but we will see some of the surfaces that are still left. We all entered this area, you can't see one second, into this passage. We've been passing one, two, three rooms, and we all entered into this third room. Soon, we're going to go out of this room and continue walking in this passage until we get to the western wall. We'll get in, then we'll continue walking northwards, nearly until the end of it. Look upon us. These arches are part of the construction I've been talking about. But just to be precise, what exactly are these arches? I'll mention at the next point. Questions? I hope it's a good sign. 